What up everybody, in the Ghost Season 3 premiere we learned that Monet had assigned the task of finding Zeke's killer to Lorenzo. But this was never going to go well considering Lorenzo himself is actually Zeke's killer. Unless Lorenzo would have man up and came clean with the truth. But after hiding the truth for three months, at this time it's a little late to come clean. So Lorenzo is now desperate and willing to do anything to keep the truth from getting back to Monet. When Davis shows up to talk about Zeke, Lorenzo is behind the wall eavesdropping on the entire conversation to see if anything would trace back to him. It is now time for Lorenzo to start plotting and scheming because he has had three months and has came up with absolutely nothing and Monet is getting more and more frustrated by the day. And at this time, Lorenzo puts two plans into action. The problem is the two plans were counteractive because he underestimated his son Kane. And there is no greater danger than underestimating your opponent. Kane needed to move Norma's product, ask his dad for help. But his dad told him he is not moving Norma's work and that Kane need to earn his trust back. And he can do that by finding Zeke's killer. The second plan was paying someone to jump Drew, paint GTG on his back, steal his chain, and say this is for Lil Guap. Also, Lorenzo could say Zeke's death was retaliation from GTG. He also found a way to play Zeke's championship ring on Drew's chain, giving Monet all the convincing she needed to believe that this was Zeke's killer. But before being gunned down by Monet, he had said someone paid him to do it. At that point, he was punched in the face by Lorenzo. Lorenzo telling Monet that he was lying. This whole time, Kane is using Power Law 3 to conceal your intentions to learn the truth about what happened to Zeke. Seeing how Lorenzo reacted to the man revealing he was paid and also knowing that Zeke never wore that ring, Kane was able to put the pieces together that Lorenzo was Zeke's killer. So after they had gotten out of Monet's presence, Kane confronted Lorenzo about what he knew and after pressing him for a minute, Lorenzo came clean with the truth and said it was an accident. Then Kane leaned in and gave his father a hug, looking like Kane might actually show compassion for once. Think again, Kane told him he was even more pathetic than he thought. And let him know that he owns him now. He's gonna move Noma's weight for him. And all the time Lorenzo saying he wasn't ready for the throne, Lorenzo wasn't ready for him. So right now Kane has the upper hand in this power struggle. But Lorenzo isn't gonna go down without a fight. On top of that, Monet is going to be furious when she learns the truth that Kane knew Lorenzo killed Zeke but was keeping it a secret in order to blackmail him. But we know Kane is always going to do what is in the best interest of Kane. After Lil Guap fired a gun at Zeke's knee, Kane was supposed to wipe out the entire GTG bloodline but let Lil Guap live in order so he could get half of everything that GTG made. In OG Power we saw something similar to what Lorenzo had just did where Andre Coleman and Crystal Ball used the Toro's local soldier as a scapegoat for the murder of Julio who they set up so they could undermine Tommy Egan and steal his organization. And this is why for over a year now I already knew that Lorenzo was going to do the same thing. Because I knew Lorenzo is not a stand up guy who would admit to what he had done either though he preaches a good game. And either though telling the truth would have been the right thing to do, he would have been risking his life, his marriage, and his family so anyone watching could at least relate to why he didn't come clean, even if you can't stand Lorenzo's character like me. But the tension between Lorenzo and Kane has been heating up all the way back to season 1. Lorenzo sent Drew instead of Kane to put Lil Guap in check and told Monet that Drew was the one who would take over the family business and not Kane, either though Monet didn't disclose this to Kane at the time. Then Kane pushed Monet down during a heated argument and when he went to talk to his dad about it, Lorenzo handled him like somebody off the street. 
He sat down and talked to Cain, even lied to him and said, when you're ready to take over, knowing if it was up to Lorenzo, Cain would never take over. All before having the CEOs beat Cain down on his way out and standing over Cain and saying, never lay hands on my wife again. It is because of this scene I really hope we get a classic Cain vs. Lorenzo fight to the death scene like the one between Ghost and Kanan and personally I hope Kane beats the brakes off of Poppy. There is a scene in the trailer where Lorenzo is getting beat down by a group of men. This will most likely be a result of the guap Monet killed in episode 2. The people Lorenzo paid to hire the guap to beat down Drew likely figured out he's dead and come looking for Lorenzo. Or it could be Uncle Frank's sons and their people trying to figure out what happened to their dad because we heard Evelyn tell Monet that her sons are now running Brooklyn. Getting me to Ghost Season 2 where Kane became the plug and Lorenzo gets released from prison. Kane was still trying to show love to Poppy getting him a Jesus piece like the one he wore before he got locked up. But Lorenzo only wanted to have Drew by his side and only using Kane to get to his plug. We see Lorenzo showing favoritism to Drew over and over again while treating Kane like the black sheep. So now Kane is supposed to set up a meeting with the plug and Lorenzo and tells Lorenzo to come alone. When Lorenzo shows up, only Kane was at the meeting and told Lorenzo, as far as you go, I am the plug. He also told Lorenzo, you act like you're running things, but you're living off my mom. This made Lorenzo furious, but what could he do about it? But fortunately for Lorenzo, luck was on his side. And by Monet ending things with Dante, Mecca cut Kane off and arranged all his product to now go to Lorenzo. And in the season 2 finale, Kane was willing to kill Lorenzo to go with Mecca's plan and take over as the New York distro for Mecca. And Lorenzo definitely didn't forget about that. He just got his own issues he'd been dealing with. Which gets us to our current timeline. Will we see another father-son, son-father murder like Kane and Sean or Tommy Egan and Tony Teresi? Either though I have serious doubts that Kane is Lorenzo's son. And when I made my video about this, I received all the hate. So before I go, let me say this. Courtney is not going to give the storyline and all the plot twists away on IG. So a lot of these questions she gets, she only has one way she can answer the question. I got a post from Paige, aka Lauren's timeline on the screen right now concerning her being alive. The person said she lied. Her reply was she had to. So don't take what Courtney says too serious because personally I love speculating and coming up with theories but I don't want to actually know what's going to happen until I watch the actual show. And there you have it. Leave your thoughts in the comments.